There was a time, not long ago, when rivers flowed pristine white. As fish playfully jumped out from their waters, probably to take a look at the world outside. Thick forests allowed the sun and clouds to peep through their foliage. Animals roamed around freely in search of food and mates. And then, these forests became home to a different species. Their thick cover became a perfect hideout for men who had come with guns to kill, to hurt, to destroy. Forests which had taken centuries to grow were destroyed in moments by human folly and greed. A lack of normalcy also meant a decrease in tourism further shrinking the already few employment opportunities available, increasing pressure on forests for survival. This was not all. Destruction came in myriad ways. When the 700-year-old shrine of charar -e sharif was destroyed on the 11th of May 1995 by foreign militants, the fire also destroyed the entire town, built almost completely from wood. 1,400 homes burnt along with the shrine. 1,400 homes had to be rebuilt, for which more than 250,000 cubic feet of timber had to be made available on a war footing. Thousands of trees were cut because of an irresponsible whim of a depraved mind. Ironically, Charar -e Sharif is the final resting place of Sheikh Nuruddin on Nundrishi, patron saint of Kashmir and a great conservationist who taught his followers. You will get your bread only if you are forests lost. Wanton destruction of their precious resources, however, made the locals more aware of their depleting forest wealth. But for them, forests are important not only because they fulfill their every need timber, fuel, fodder, water but also because they fulfill an emotional need. For them, a world without forests would be a travesty. Perhaps that is why they are working very hard to regenerate their forests. In Kudlu village near Yusmarg, 1.3 million trees have been planted by the villagers as a voluntary effort with guidance and help from the forest department. Today, as they watch their trees grow, they are justifiably proud. 
इतने जंगल काटे गए नहीं तो कहाँ कौन काटेगा आज क्यों नहीं कोई काटता सर आज बिल्कुल आज तो ये भी सिटरांग है हम तो खुद भी सिटरांग है अब तो नहीं यहाँ के लोग गड़बड़ होने देते These villagers have shown the world that there is only one earth which we do not own but have a share in along with all other life forms and hurting or healing is entirely in our hands <laughs>